At least one person has been killed and several injured in Pani Sagar of North Tripura when police opened fire on agitators after they turned violent and blocked the National Highway 8 as a part of the indefinite bun since 16th November. The protests are against centre's decision to rehabilitate thousands of tribal brew refugees who had fled to adjoining Mizoram 23 years ago following ethnic strife in the state. Ratnadeep joins us now for more details. Ratnadeep, what are you hearing? That's right. In fact, what we can confirm to our viewers is that uh, now police sources have confirmed us that at least one uh, protester is dead uh, in uh, this uh, you know incident which has taken place uh, this uh, morning at Pani Sagar in North Tripura, uh, which is uh, uh, part of the Kanchurpur subdivision. Remember, uh, from uh, last Monday, there have been indefinite one in the area called by the Joint Movement Committee, which is a joint platform of the tribals and the non-tribals of Kanchanpur subdivision of Tripura, where for past 23 years, the brew uh, refugees uh, who fled uh, from uh, Mizoram, which is just adjacent to uh, North Tripura uh, in 1997. They've been staying there as refugees and their settlement uh, 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 agreement was done uh, earlier this year and according to that settlement agreement, they were supposed to be uh, settled permanently in Tripura, but the locals uh, in that area, both from tribal and non-tribal communities, have been uh, you know, opposing this and they had called for this indefinite bun and uh, to, uh, today in fact, uh, despite uh, you know, Section 144 of CRPC being imposed in the area, thousands uh, of uh, the protesters had come and they had blocked the National Highway 8, which actually links Assam to Tripura. And uh, according to police sources, that you know, police had to open fire. And in that, what we can confirm is that one person is dead and uh, several others are injured. Now, there was also counter stone pelting. That's what police is claiming by the protesters on the police personnel, and several police personnel are injured. In fact, uh, one, one uh, uh, fire service person is uh, uh, seriously injured. That's what we are hearing. But uh, there have been tension in the area. Remember because uh, there, there were also uh, skirmishes earlier this week when, uh, you know, uh, allegedly the uh, uh, brew tribals had uh, uh, attacked uh, the uh, non-tribals in that area. And also there's been a lot of tension building up given the fact that this issue of resettlement of the brew refugees is stuck in limo. Remember, this issue ha has been, you know, highlighted by the BJP as one of the major success of the Modi government in terms of, uh, you know, uh, settling long pending uh, contention issues in the northeast it was seen as a pet project of union home minister amit shah but now not only this issue is stuck in limo but what has happened today is this just goes to show that there is a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, a lot of tension brewing in the area in fact what police sources are telling us that they have sent reinforcement in the area but what locals are telling us from that area is that that the you know the blockade still continues so the national highway is uh, 8 uh, which is a key national highway uh, linking the southern Assam to Tripura there uh, they were trying to block the highway to intensify their protest but police had to resort to firing because police says that the you know the protesters had turned violent